Hi everyone, welcome to Craft Zone Creations, the Rainbow Loom section. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this new bracelet I designed on the finger loom. I plan to call it something like the double chain raindrop bracelet or maybe the raindrop double chain bracelet. I'll have to decide. So here's what it looks like. As you can see, there are two single chains running along that way. And they look like raindrops if you turn them around like that. So it's like raindrops falling down. And then there's this red band in the middle that is just one band which has been put that way. So they look like raindrops falling. And there are two chains going down. So that's why I plan to call it double chain bracelet. The double chain raindrop bracelet. So to make this. You will need your finger loom and a C-clip and you might just need a hook at the end when we'll be tying it off. You will also need two different groups of bands for the two different type of stitch you could say we're going to be doing here. One is the two bands I've used for the white part and one type of band is the one you'll be using for the red part. So the red is where you'll be using one band per um, for every single time you put it there. For the white part of it, you'll be needing two bands every time you put it on there. So instead of the red band today, I'll be using these black normal bands. And instead of the white bands, I will be using the Rainbow Loom glitter bands. And these are what they'll be looking like. So I think this is a good combination when it comes to a bracelet like this. And now without further ado, let's begin. To start off, you will need your first color, which is going to be the color which will appear in the red part over here. So I'm using black for that. And what you have to do is put this on one peg of your finger loom. And you will be twisting it then. Putting it onto the next peg, twist again, put it onto here, twist again, and put it onto the last peg. So it should look something like that. Next, you'll be taking the color of bands you are using for the white part, which, which looks like right here. And you'll need two bands for this step. So. You have to place them in one way. Here, as you see, there is a gap and no rubber band um, connecting this peg to this one. And the rest of them are connected. So you're going to hold it so that the gap is upwards or downwards, your choice. But you will be separating this finger loom into two parts. One part will be one band and the other part will be another band. And once you keep that in mind that you have to place it with the gap, then you'll be able to do this easily. So you just loop the bottom band over and into the middle. The bottom as in the one you put earlier on all four pegs. Then once you're done this, you will see that there is no black band to guide you as to where you are going to put your next... Um, bunch of separate bands right so to guide you over there you will see that of course these two are separate so that is one way to see it and then you know that next time when you put your bands you have to put one on these two and one on these two try not to mess up and put one on these two and these two because if you do that you'll have to take it out and do it again as that will be wrong and your bracelet will get messed up now, next I'm going to take one more black band and I'll be putting it on all four pegs but no twisting this time. So, there we go. And you will be looping the bottom bands over. On all four pegs. And there, once again to identify where to put your bands in this next layer, I'll be using my 
glitter blue bands, you will see that there is a diamond-like shape right here. And then all you have to do is put it near the diamond. So one goes on this side of the diamond, the other goes on this side of the diamond. And then you just loop the bottom bands over. And then after doing that, again, you will be taking your A bands. So I'm calling these A bands because to make this easier, I thought maybe we should call the single band the A band and the double bands the B bands. Because we started with the single first, it'll be called A and this will be called B. So now we'll be calling them that way. So take your A color band, place it on all four pegs. And you'll be looping all four, all the bottom bands over into the middle on all, all four pegs again. So now all you have to do is keep continuing that pattern. So one black band on all four pegs, loop the bottoms over. Then two of your B bands on the pegs that are separated by the diamond. So one on these two and then one on these two. So make sure you do that part right and you will get the bracelet done. All you have to do is keep following that pattern and go all the way till it fits your wrist size and I'll be right back. Hi everyone. So when you are done making it the length you want, it will look something like this. Right now it is slightly squished up and the length I actually want is this long. So I will be stretching it out when I wear it because I want it to look like this and not like that. So to end this, if you are on this stage where you have your A band on there, then you will follow my instructions to end it. If you are with the B bands on it, then you'll have to wait through the instructions and then I'll tell you what to do next. So you just take your B band color, make one last, put them on one last time, loop the bottom over on all four pegs, like that. And now what you will be doing is you can grab your hook for this if it's easier, but I'll just do it with my fingers. So what you have to do is, as you know, that the diamond separates the two sides. Take one band from one of the sides, bring it to here. Take another band from the other side and bring it right to here. Then you will be bringing them on top of each other. So just grab these two loops and bring them onto the peg with the other two loops like that now you will be taking the band A color and you will be putting it through and pulling it out the other end like that you will need a hook for this part, definitely. Oh. So here I've put my hook through those two loops after putting it under there. Now you will just want to grab an S-clip and hook it on there. So before doing that, I am going to take this off. Put my finger on my side and I'm going to stretch this so that it's easier to put my S clip on. You can also use the C clip, of course. And there, whoops. Once you're done that, you'll be attaching the other end. So to do that, you have to look for the right part of the band to grab. You're going to take this. 
these two loops so that there's this circular loop around those bands but you are holding two loops in your hand too. Once you have that, make sure that it's straight and you don't twist it. And then you can just clip this onto your S-clip. There. And your double chain raindrop bracelet is done. I hope you found this bracelet easy to do because I did and I also hope that you did because it is a very fun bracelet to make and it does need your attention the whole time so that you don't mess up on the band B part, the white band part or the glitter bands here, that part and it is really easy, it doesn't take many supplies because this these are hardly any bands at all. and. It's really easy to close off and everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and, I, and you had fun making this along with me. If you found this difficult, please um, make sure that you go back to the parts where you thought it was difficult and watch it again because that will help you understand it. And if you understand it, it is way easier to do. And that is it for this video. I don't know if I'll be doing any more finger loom tutorials because I am almost out of ideas right now. So this might be my last finger loom tutorial for now. But anyways, that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and found this easy. And don't forget to subscribe so that you know what all videos I'm posting. And... Again, that is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. See you next time.